This is the Danish capital of America. There you can stroll through the Copenhagen Drive tasting the Avaskiers. From hidden bakeries to world-class wineries, from rich museums to joyous festivals, we're about to embark on an unforgettable trip through this Danish wonderland. Come along with us to explore this beautiful European town, Solvay. Solvang is just a short two and a half hour drive from LA and only 30 minutes from Santa Barbara with a stunning coastal route that makes the journey just as beautiful as the destination. As you head up, you'll pass the serene Lake Kachuma, a hidden gem nestled between Santa Barbara and Solvang. It's the perfect spot to take a break, breathe in the fresh air and enjoy lake views before continuing your adventure to this charming Danish town. is packed with a rich history too. It all started back in 1911 when a group of Danish Americans bought a piece of land in beautiful Santa Ynez Valley, basically to create their own little slice of Denmark right here in California. They wanted to keep their culture alive so they built this town full of Danish style windmills, cozy bakeries and iconic half-timbered houses that honestly make you feel like you're walking through a European fairy tale. Things really took off when Prince Frederick of Denmark visited in 1939, putting Solvang on the map and drawing even more visitors curious about this unique Danish town. What's really cool is that California works hard to keep Solvang's Danish traditions intact. The town now has some strict design rules, so even newer buildings have to match that authentic Danish look. best ways to soak in the Danish culture is by attending the annual Danish Days Festival, which usually takes place in mid-September and is a Solvang tradition since 1936. This festival is packed with the mesmerizing Danish folk dances that we absolutely loved. We've been to Solvang a few times before, but this was our first time really diving into the beauty of their culture. The stunning traditional costumes was like stepping back in time. It's amazing how they bring centuries-old customs to life. The atmosphere was so lively, filled with music, laughter, and of course, a bunch of delicious Danish treats that we couldn't resist. As we strolled down Copenhagen Street, we spotted folks dressed in traditional Danish attire, which really added to the authenticity of this whole experience. The closing parade was definitely the highlight. If you want to feel like a true local and experience Solvang at its most vibrant and cultural best, you have to visit during the Danish Days Festival. It's an experience you won't want to miss. Solvang has some amazing Danish bakeries. One place you can miss is Danish Mill Bakery. This charming spot has been serving up a variety of traditional Danish pastries for over 60 years. It was founded by Arvid Peterson, who worked for a bakery in Copenhagen, Denmark that supplied goodies to King Christian X. Then in 1940, Arvid opened his first bakery in Copenhagen and later bought his delicious creations to Solvang. Whether you're a pastry lover or just looking to satisfy your sweet tooth, Solvang is full of authentic Danish bakeries that you will spot on your way. You should definitely taste the world-famous Abelskiers, which are basically Danish pancake balls that literally melt in your mouth. back, we couldn't resist taking a quick 10-minute detour to check out the ostrich land. 
But honestly, it was such a fun surprise. The place is massive, with ostriches and emus just roaming around like they own the place. In fact, we even got to feed them, which was wild, literally. I have to admit though, I was way too scared to get close at first. Those birds are huge. But watching them gobble up the food was so fascinating, even if I kept my distance. Maybe next time, I'll find the courage to actually get closer. Baby steps, right? Make sure you start your day pretty early because LA traffic is pretty bad. Since Seoul Wang functions like a small European city, we would recommend getting there early to enjoy what the city has to offer. If you truly want to experience the city, we highly recommend you to go on a cloudy day. It adds so much to the architecture and the city of Seoul Wang. Santa Barbara is just 30 minutes from Seoul Wang, so we would recommend making a quick stop there to pick up food on your way back. We hope that our travel guide to Seoul Wang helped you out to plan out your next trip to the city. Don't forget to like, share and follow us for more such travel tips. Also, we regularly post our travel content on Instagram. You can find all the links in the description section below.